All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Daniel coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Arachak Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the hopeful like brethren teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. So, uh, I was watching, you know, a couple of videos, um, you know, this morning, you know, uh, you know, starting off with the Elder Apostle Kabar and uh, how Trump is mobilizing his uh, <clears throat> his military, okay, uh, to, to, to do forced vaccinations, right? And, you know, uh, through the spirit being led to other videos of news, of news reports and videos by different brothers on these different things that are about to become in the past, right? But I came across this video and I'll show it here on the screen. I came across this video where, um, in Salakia, let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Right? So I came across a video here of this, uh, so called, uh, you know, black woman, okay, who was talking about. I was talking about all the different occurrences that's going on. And one of the things she mentioned, you know, is the microchip. You know, people believe that the microchip can be in these vaccines. Um, uh, and that, you know, they're, they're, she basically, Jake is not in the mindset, okay? You're going to have some Jake that are going to revolt, okay? Or, or, or not going to go, who are going to refuse, okay, to take the vaccine, okay, who, who, are, who are not uh, willing to go with Esau's plans. And that's one of the reasons why Esau is going to have to come down with force, man, because there's people who are going to oppose him, right? She mentioned, uh, 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 you know, uh, lower level uh, Caucasians, so-called Caucasians, you know, uh, uh basically in opposition to the vaccination, right? Who would also be in opposition of the microchip, right? Which is the mark of the beast, Revelations uh, 13 and 16, right? But what I wanted to get or harp on is that, A, you know, I'll, I'll play a little bit of this video. Um, What I wanted to harp on is that Esau's, you know, you wicked elites, okay, are are revealed man the devil is revealed he can't hide right the lord is revealing him man by, by by way of who his prophets okay those who are out there on the highways and the byways okay the hopeful elect okay pushing his word pushing his truth man right uh shaking the hand okay and exalting the voice on the high mountain man that it may go into the gates of the nobles up to the elites man so, I'm going to play a little bit of this video. Um, I'll probably play about maybe two minutes of it. I just want to find a good place to start. With them. And they say they didn't even know how I did. Why? Because that was a sacrifice. Mm. They, on the adrenochrome, mm. they take little babies and torture them and yep. drink the blood as a youth serum. Exactly. They in the world court right now, baby. This America exists no more as we know it. If you notice when he makes... Right. So she said they take... She she mentions sacrifices that these uh, illuminated ones, okay? These these wicked elite, they, they do uh, believe that's over in the Bohemian Grove, which is in uh, California. Right before that, she mentioned that there's, there's no uh, more Hollywood, okay? Which is where they do all their witchcraft with the movies and the, you know... Hey, it, you know, and it's, this is, is this is common, common conversation, okay, to talk about the Illuminati. Everybody knows about them, right? The Lord has revealed them. The Lord's lifted up the skirt on this devil, right? And, and now everybody at the end, when, when this all goes down, everybody's going to know for sure that he's the devil. What do they say in the world? Action speaks louder than words. There is no more presidential seal behind him. 
which means we in motherfucking martial law and there are no elections. Mm. No elections. So that's why you so that's why Donald Trump don't be wearing no mask. Come on, bro. And you say they fighting in Chicago. Right, and martial law already started in Salaki. I'm going to be pausing through the video, but let me get this scripture first. This is uh, Revelations, okay, chapter, let me see, let me see, let me see. Revelations chapter, let me get down to Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, rejoice, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth for the and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right? So who is this devil, man? Okay? These these uh, uh so called white people, so called Caucasians, man. Right now, not all of them, because some of them uh, you have Israelites, okay, that look like so-called white people and Caucasians, right? They're referred to in the scriptures as the speckled bird, right? It says, um, uh, I'll read that again. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time, right? So he, uh, how is he going to come down with that wrath, man? He's going to come down with his weaponry, his military, his tactics, man, okay? He's going to come with that great wrath, right? He's going to be spoiling, destroying the saints, as it says in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, right? Going through people's houses, kicking down their doors, right? Holding you at gunpoint, telling you you have to take this vaccination, you have to take this chip. And if you refuse, you either die or you get you die, you get your head chopped off, you get thrown into prison, right? Well, what's that? Revelations... Um. That's Revelation chapter 2. Let me see here. Uh, where it says, uh, let me get this. Uh, let me see. Cast some of you in the prison. Right, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, right? So there's going to be a lot of things that us here in the truth are going to have to suffer, man. It says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, right? What are those prisons? These FEMA camps, these concentration camps, okay? That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, right? Meaning for a period of time, we're going to go through... We're going to go through tribulation, man, troubles, okay, whether it be torture, whether it be a, a temptation to do certain things, right, all to get you to try and take that chip, right? Now, not every brother is going to be cast into prison. Some brothers are going to, just as the scripture said, uh, be ye pilgrims upon the earth, man. Some brothers are just going to be on the run. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life, man. Right. So for those hopeful that brethren, man, if we if we remain faithful and trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on the death, he's going to give us a crown of life. Right. But the point I wanted to get, man, is uh, they're, they're going to cast some of us into prison into these FEMA camps, these concentration camps. Right. And there's a possibility of us getting our head chopped off. OK, so. Um, I'm going to play a little bit more of that video and I'm going to get the. Uh, the main scripture I wanted to harp on, man, because Esau is revealed, man. He can't hide no more because the Lord is revealing him. He's lifting up the skirt on him. We're going to get that scripture too, Lord willing. How going on? Oh, they loaded motherfuckers in Mid Lansing, Michigan with rifles and double shot off shotguns. Mm. They ain't going home. They ain't staying home. You know why they want to keep you in the house because at nighttime they spray shit in the head. Mm. They did it over there on Palmer um, in Pimlico. Five o'clock in the morning, lady come out of the house, motherfucking helicopter spinning, spraying shit. What they spray? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know when he's, uh, you know when the devil, man. Okay, they 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 spray different toxins. Okay, different things in the air, man. Right, you got something called disease warfare, 
right? You have something called uh, chemtrails, and they've been doing that. They do that, uh, and, and 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 interestingly enough, man, they they increase they increase the amount of chemtrails around these different um, uh, wicked holidays that they celebrate, man. Right, right, like around Halloween, they was doing they was doing double they was doing overtime, man, overtime on the chem chemtrails. The doctor said, medical examiner said, he stepping down because he got a seven page letter from the CDC telling him how to fill out a death certificate. That man said, I've been a medical examiner for 23 years. Mm -hmm. Do you think I need the fucking criminal disease cabal, CDC, mm -hmm. to tell me how to fill out a death certificate? He stepped down and he said, I just want all of y'all to know. All the time I'm wearing this mask. So, but it take that shit off your face. It's pointless. Because you see this? This is this is the largest organ on your body, the skin. So you just coming up your face? <laughs> Shit don't make sense, y'all. How can you have food? But yeah, man, as you can see, Jake Jake is starting to see, man. They're starting to see that this this devil is, is deceptive, right? And then uh later on in the video, and hey brothers, you get a check. I'm gonna post this video in the description, but you get a chance, you should check out the video, you know, not for, uh, you know, it it just it just goes to show you that, hey, Jake, to some degree, is waking up to the wickedness of this devil. He's waking up to the deception of this devil, man. And where that where did that start, right? Right? That started with the truth, man. That started with the Lord's prophets, okay? Which we believe all here today, preaching out there on the streets, man. The spirits of the prophets are subject unto the prophets, man. Because reincarnation is in the scriptures. So, we're going to get, uh, we're going to hear, we're going to go to 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse 1. Right, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahawashai Hamashiach, by our gathering together unto him. That ye be not soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter from us, as that day of Yahweh Shai is at hand, right? So the day of Yahweh Shai, okay, Hamashiach is at hand. The day of the coming, the second coming of the Son of Man is at hand, right? And these are all the, these are all these things that are leading up to it, man, when he comes with that power and great glory. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a fall in the way first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Right? So saying that the day that Yahweh Shai, uh, the day where Yahweh Shai returns will not come, okay, at this time until the nation of Israel, okay, have, have completely fallen away. All right? It says in, it says in that, that man... That man of sin be revealed. Who's the man of sin? Who's the son of perdition? Uh, um, Esau Edom. It says the son of perdition, so called, so called white man. It says who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is the Most High, or that is worship, so that he is the Most High, sitting in the temple of the Most High, showing himself as the Most High. So this is Esau with his God complex, right? Right, uh, Job nine and, uh, and and let's get it. Let's get it real quick. Job nine and twenty four, man. Very very basic scripture, but powerful, man. All these scriptures are powerful. Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, who's the wicked? Malachi one and four. Okay, Esau Edom. It says, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who covered the faces of the judges, right? Who says that he's that he's the most high? He looks like the most high. The angels look like the most high. The Israelites look like the most high. The people of the Bible look like the most high, right? Hey, even, even they try to portray themselves to be the the um the uh, the Egyptians, right? Mitzrayim, right? Which they ruled in Egypt during the Ptolemaic dynasty, but they're not the Egyptians, right? They hide and they, they, they oppress a man in his heritage. Who does that? Who's been doing that? Right? Well, hey, let's, hey, let's do a process of elimination. It wasn't 
it wasn't the, the Japanese saying that they look like the Most High and the Israelites, and it wasn't the Japanese, right? Even though they, they had in on it with that little documentary talking about the lost tribes of Israel, or that bullshit, right? It wasn't uh uh uh, uh what the the Hindus. It wasn't the uh the uh, the J uh, the Chinese and the J I said the Chinese and the Japanese. It wasn't the uh the, the the Ishmaelites, okay, which were the Arabs, okay. It was a so called white man, right? As proof of that, that's a lucky if I'm going sort of off on a tangent here, but as proof of that, let's type this in. Type this in. Um. Of the Lord. Hold on, so like you. Phone be messing up on me. Angels of the Lord. Right? So here, I just typed in something simple, man. Angels of the Lord. What you get? White devil. White devil. Female white devil, white devil, right? White devil, all that. See? Now you got you got some of them that are uh, jakes, but for the most part, anything they they painted themselves to look. They painted themselves uh, to look, okay. Like the people of the Most High, man, and the angels. Right, another white devil. Right, you you get the point in the hair. Here's the main one. Here's the main one. They they try to say that they covered the main judge, right? Which is uh, uh the Most High and His Son Yahushai. It says uh. Let me see here. Right. This is him opposing the Most High. This is him blaspheming the Most High because he's saying that he is the Most High. Right? Um, right, what do you get when you type in Jesus? Which is that that's not the name, that's not the real name of the Son of the Most High. His real name is Yahweh Shai. Right? He is deliverer. Okay? Um Right, when you type this in, you get nothing but white devil, white devil, white devil. And this is complete blasphemy because in the scriptures, it doesn't even describe him looking this way. So, right, this is that son of perdition. Right? Let's read on. Uh, let's read on. Right, so he's being revealed. All right? And that's one of the things that's been revealed about him. Him painting himself as the Most High. It says, um, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Right, And in this time, he's being revealed. Uh, it says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he... Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So even at that time, during the time of the Romans, Esau was already in the workings, man. It's, um, it says, and then he who, who now letteth, which is the most high, will let until he be taken out of the way. What does the scripture say? What if the most high uh, suffer uh, the, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? Okay. Willing to suffer the uh, vessels of wrath fitted for destruction, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, uh, to basically to show his power. It says, even him who's coming, Salakia, verse 8, it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed. So the wicked is being revealed, okay? And, and slowly but surely, people are starting to see that he's the devil, man. That he's wicked, man. That he's against the Most High. People are starting to see that, but people who are really going to be seeing that or the elect man who are waking up. Okay. It says. Uh, Whom the world shall consume. With the spirit of his mouth. Who's the, who's, the, who's the spirit of his mouth man. The prophets. Right. 
So Esau Edom is being consumed, okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, through his prophets, man, right, by way of these scriptures, these words, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says, and and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The brightness of the coming is who? Right? That's that's Yahweh Shai, man. When he comes back with that great power and that great glory, man. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Right? So Esau, he's the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth, man. A spiritual demon, Satan, is, is, is using them, okay, to bring forth uh, these these different uh, uh, prophecies, man. Okay, and Esau uses his his witchcraft, okay, his spiritual power on the left hand to to uh, to fool people, okay, and and and, and, and to uh, basically do miracles with this microchip, man. Right, healing people with brain tumors with a brain chip, giving people the ability to download information into their into their brain. At an instant with this, with, you know, with this microchip, right? Convenience, all these different things, man. It says, and with all deceivableness, unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, right? So, a lot of Jake is going to fall for the okie doke from Esau or Edom, Right? The, that, this is talking about those two thirds, man. A lot of Jake is gonna gonna fall for the okie doke, man, because they trust in the system, man, right? And they, it says, uh, it says, uh, uh, verse eleven. It says, for this cause the Most High shall send them strong delusions, so they're gonna, uh, uh, Salakia, I'm getting ahead of myself, that they should believe a lie, right? So the Lord is gonna allow them to be deceived. The deceiver and the deceiver are His. Right, so two thirds are gonna be deceived by this devil, and they're gonna they're gonna get destroyed, man. They that consent unto him shall uh be trodden down, shall be had in derision and trodden down. You know, roughly paraphrasing that. It says that they they all might be down, okay, who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, right? You wicked two thirds, you wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? Two thirds of our people are going to die. Right? Zephaniah 13 and 8. Okay? It says, um, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So you like this place, man. You had pleasure in this place, man. You had pleasure in unrighteousness. Right? You trusted in this place. So the Lord is going to allow you to be deceived and, and to be put to death. Right? But we are bound to give thanks all the way to the Most High. In Salaki. That's the point right there. Right? So Esau is being revealed. The Lord is lifting up the skirt, so to speak. Right? Everybody's going to know at the end of the day that this, this place is wicked and Esau, Edom, so-called white people are the devil. So let's let's get this. This is um Isaiah 47. And I believe I got this in my last video, but we're going to get it again. This is Isaiah chapter 47, uh, verse 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Who's the virgin daughter of Babylon? Okay, America. Okay, America. All right, the lady that sitteth upon many waters, and that's broken down in the scriptures. There's nations and kindreds and tongues. All right? America sits upon all these different nations, man. America has the power right now. It says, sit on the ground. There is no throne. So America is about to be taken out of power, man, violently. It says, it says, oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, right? Refers to as the Chaldeans because America uses witchcraft, okay? What's witchcraft? The, the uh, uh, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So you're not following the law, statutes, commandments, or following the way of life that the Lord has set up, okay? That's witchcraft. Going against the Lord, that's witchcraft. These different philosophies, these different uh, idol worship, these different ways of thinking, okay, that America pushes out. It's also known as wine in the scriptures, right? That's that's their witchcraft, 
that they push out there, man. The Chaldeans were, were known for uh, their witchcraft. It says, For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take millstones and grind mill. Uncover the locks. Make bare the thigh. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the river. So the Lord is revealing this hoe. Okay? He's revealing these, these, these Edomites. He's revealing this place, man. Right? It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Right? So the Lord... Before he comes and destroys this place with vengeance and save his elect, he's going to reveal these, these devils, man. He's going to reveal their wickedness. And it's already starting to come. It's, it's already been happening. They've been being revealed for years now. Right? And at the end of the day, after all the gospel has been preached throughout the whole world, okay, then the end shall come. But Lord willing, this was an edifying video. Once again, all praises to our Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Arachak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren, teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.